I'll be doing this, voicing it. And we're just learning about bearings. The simple, simple mechanics of them. And let me just, I'll just build them and add the different things real quick. Oops. Okay. So the two different things you can use with bearings is the engine and the rotation controller. And you have to hook them up to a switch or well with the engine there's a different game mechanic I'll make another episode about but the rotation controller won't do anything if there's no switch. And when you do it with the engine, whatever different speeds you set it up is how fast the bearing is going to turn with it. As I show here. Now right there, the engine is spinning the bearing on its own without the switch, but that's another game mechanic, like I said, and I'll show it to you another day. Here I realized I can't do it with the vertical bearing with the controller. You have to do it with horizontal ones to best show it off. Now positive or negative numbers will change on whether it goes up or down with each depending on how you build the original blocks, I guess. Like with how I built this one, negative means down and positive means up. Now, I'm about to show why there's lots of trouble with building the doors. Like in yesterday's episode, where I had trouble building the doors. And I'll show you in just a second. See, it doesn't open. It's because it's stuck on uh, all four sides, like I'm showing. It gets caught on them, and it won't open. And that causes a lot of trouble when making doors. There's probably some tutorials on how to make doors in this game somewhere, but I just haven't cared to look so far yet. Now, see here. My fan in that room is connected to an engine and a switch, and I just have it at two speed, so it's kind of slow. Oops.
Here I'm building a car just to show steering with bearings, which I can't represent very well with a with this with what I build. In a lot of my building tutorials, when I make a turn, you'll see me do this. But right here, I'm not going to extend out with wheels and stuff. I just would want to show the steering. And when steering, you can't connect it to the engine, or it's going to constantly be turning and kind of ruin your car. So you connect it to the seat so that when you push left or right, it goes left or right. And sometimes when you're doing this, it'll be the wrong way, so right is left and left is right, so you have to switch the rotation on it. Like when you're holding this thing, toggle rotation. Here I'm getting one of my car blueprints to show you. And also with the bearings that are with the wheels, if they're not pointing outwards, like to away from the front of your car like they are here, then your wheels are going to go backwards. And some of them are going to be right ways when you put them in, and others are going to be wrong ways, and so you need to check every time. Or you'll have some that go backwards like this, and others that go forward. And if all of them are wrong ways, then you're going to go backwards when you want to go forwards, and forwards when you want to go backwards. Here I had a, I'm flipping the thing around to show like right becomes left and left becomes right, but you can't see very well because you don't know, see what button I'm pushing. So there I fixed it again. And that is today's physics episode. <laughs>